Hello YouTube, this is Daz of the Cameraman and today is Wednesday the 7th of August 2013. This is a response video to uh, Neddy Flanders Rolls, or Neddy Flanders as he's calling himself now. Um, he's done a couple of new videos um, about an object that he's been photographing in the western sky in the early evening as seen from uh, uh, Queensland, Australia. Um, now he's not actually calling this one Nibiru or Planet X this time um, but he has given it a name he's called it Planet I that's E-Y-E -E, and uh, we'll have a look at why he's calling that uh, in this video um, let's have a just quick look at his description he says I've dubbed this Planet I E-Y-E -E, as I'm not going to claim it to be Nibiru Planet X or to have any extra abilities other than only observation point which is in a great place to see it's your opinion that counts your decision as to what you believe and that's fair enough okay so this bright object um, to anybody who's watching the uh, western sky in the early evening at the moment should be able to recognize this instantly it is of course the planet venus which is the brightest star-like object that we will see in the, in the sky. Um, the next brightest would be Jupiter, um, but Venus is certainly very bright. It's um, very high in the uh, western sky at, at this time and uh, will be getting higher over the, the next few weeks as well. Um, of course it's on the inside of the, the orbit of the Earth. You've got out from the Sun you've got Mercury, then Venus, then Earth. Uh, Venus is currently coming around from the, the back side of the, the Sun. It's, um, it's well around on its path and it's, it's approaching the, the widest point out from the, uh, the Sun as it comes around on its orbit. Now let's go back to uh, Nettie's video and uh, have a, a brief listen. So there's a, just what I could find. So let me just um, go through the photos so you can see um, there it is again. This is late afternoon, as you can see, and <clears throat> zoomed in on the um, the bright one, just basically, and uh, and then thought it was quite bright and illuminating, and it was almost like it was a sun doing a solar burst. But uh, now this is where it gets interesting because in Nettie's analysis, as he's done before. He's actually zoomed in on the, the image and he's looking for features. Well, let's step ahead in this video and have a look. So going further into it and getting closer to getting a clear zoom, I believe in not just giving you some clear shots. I want you to see the shitty shots too. So you know that these aren't touched. This is, this is how it is. Um, this is the clearest that I have at the moment and yeah it looks pretty scary and shitty too because all I see is this dirty big eyeball okay so Nitty is having a look at these features and, and this is why he's called this planet I E Y E he's looking at this feature here which does look like an eye with a big pupil in the middle um, so what are we actually seeing in these videos that Nitty is taking now it just so happens that uh, Nitty is using a Canon 60D um, camera and we can see that in the detail here. This is the software that Nitty is, is using and we can see up the top here that it says Canon EOS 60D. Well it just so happens I'm also using a Canon EOS 60D. In fact I'm using the 60DA and the A stands for astrophotography. The only difference between the 60D and the 60DA apart from being about twice the price is the filter in the camera. In the 60DA um, and as I say the A standing for astrophotography uh, the, the filter in the camera is a different filter which does not cut out the reds and the infrareds like the standard filter in an ordinary camera such as the 60D does. But apart from that we're actually looking at the same camera. Um, so let's have a look. I decided to do a simulation of uh, the images that Nitty has been taking by taking my own pictures of Venus and seeing if I could simulate the uh, results that he's been getting. So let's have a look at those. 
First of all, here are some shots that I took of Venus just last night. As you can see, I'm looking over my neighbor's house, and we've got Venus, this very bright one, in the middle here. Let's zoom up on that. As you can see, that's fairly well focused. We can see these other stars here. With these uh, cameras, there is a special mode called Live View Mode, which allows you to do a 5 times or 10 times digital zoom. This allows you to set the focus on the camera as precisely as possible before taking your photos. And here are some photos I took of Venus when it was a bit darker. Now, as in, in this one, you can see that it is well focused again. And in the next couple, this one is um, elongated because I took a longer exposure, which meant that the shutter was open further. Now, after that, I deliberately defocused the camera lens to see if I could simulate the sort of effects that Nettie has been getting in his images. And this is what we get. Does this look familiar at all? Now this is interesting, as I zoom up we can see this quite dark spot here which is sort of a bit like the eye that Nettie was talking about but as I zoom it in you can see that it actually gets closer to the outside of the edge of what Nettie calls planet eye. Now these marks are just dust and other um, debris, um, scratches maybe on the lens. The lens that I'm using is, is actually an older lens. It came off an old SLR camera. Um, so it may have some marks and maybe mould and other dust inside it as well. So we can see that, that this is very similar to the results that uh, Nettie has been getting. As I move the camera around we get different marks depending which way I'm, I'm pointing it. Um, but this is all it is, it's just that Nettie is not correctly focusing his camera and then of course he's um, zooming up on the results that he's getting which just tends to highlight um, the, the effects that he is seeing. So once again, this isn't Nibiru, it's not Planet X and it's certainly not Planet I. It is Planet Venus and uh, if you go out tonight, if, it's a, if you've got a clear sky, and look towards the west in the early evening, you'll certainly see Venus uh, nice and bright in the sky, you can't mistake it. It'll be the brightest object, uh, br brightest star-like object in the sky. Uh, Jupiter is the next brightest, that's uh, currently in our morning sky. Um, Venus will be in our evening sky getting higher and higher over the, the next couple of months, and it will be getting higher through until around about November, December, before it starts heading back uh, towards the horizon. Um, so once again, uh, this is all about um, correctly setting your camera, um, focusing the camera right. Uh, when you uh, take pictures like this that are slightly out of focus and then you zoom up on them, you're going to see effects like this. That's all it is. Um, so I hope that's cleared that up. As usual, check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. I'll put a link for you in the description area. Thank you for watching.